How are we doing everyone? It's your boy Prophet here and on this episode we are going to be cracking on with the guidance. So what on this guidance is basically to do the barbarian interrogation. We have learned the uh, ability to deter um, an enemy when it has to be below 30% health. Which is obviously we go E to interrogate and then hopefully we'll be able to get it as a tribesman to help us. Uh, I still haven't figured out why for some weird reason the workshop and the craftsman uh, bench I can't place down for some weird reason. I don't know what's going on there. It says I can't build it. It has to be built within our bonfire and then there's weird collisions and it's you know I've been going on it for about a couple of hours now and it's just really confuse me um i know you have to when it's on, on a bonfire you got two blocks basically so two foundations worth it has to be within so i built that done all that done that bit nope still nothing so we're just gonna crack on and hopefully get on with this uh barbarian interrogation um hopefully it's not hopefully it's just over here like any other barbarian would be so that's where i put on this bit um, if not, we're just going to travel over to the Barbarian Barrack and go over there. So, that is the plan for this episode. I hope you're enjoying it. I'm just in love with this game. It's a very underrated game. I don't think many people have heard about it. Uh, but it seems to be getting getting the attention, though. I think it deserves. Uh, it's got a few bugs and tweaks it needs to um, get sorted out. But the devs are definitely getting there. They are definitely doing their jobs worth. I give them that. I give them that. They are listening. Uh, no, you're just a bloody thingy ma thing. So for some reason, um, what I might do in a bit <clears throat> might not be this episode. Might be next episode. I know I got probably till the 18th of this month to crack on and finished a uh, 40 hour sort of playthrough. Come on, swap. Come here, Bobcat. No, it's a bush dog. Come here. No, no, don't hit me. Thank you. Thank you very much. So it's just an ancient Um, what's the word I was looking for? Do, 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 do. I need to find a chest. It's just one of the ancient sort of places. Uh, do, do. That is. No, clay is just pure black. Oh, here it is. Haha. -ha. So we can get goodies from here. Let's see what goodies we can get. What goodies can we get? More sharp fang feather. We need you. And we need you. Don't really need you and you because we can get them from the bush dogs that we've just got. So we'll un unarmed uh, delete mark. Yep, and what we're going to be doing is going further north to the barbarian barracks, which it is north in it. Yes. So what we got on this uh let's go on to t we should be able to so fight with our bare hands at that point combat node combat instinct fully unlocks the mass perception capabilities to set biological targets within a certain range spare their positions in real time press q that's pretty cool recruit that's that one we need to be awareness strength 20 for that Running strength 15. Do do do. No. Uh, hand speed. Stimulate. Stimulate hand muscles and nerves to enhance your speed and craft speed plus 10. That's not too bad. Forbidden territory. Ooh. Which is that? Storage unit that records lots of tool making knowledge once prepared is used subconsciously during production activities craftsmanship efficiency growth rate at 50 percent as for alchemy multifunctional module life perception hmm. 
uh, do I want you? So we can't really do anything with you. Can't really do anything with you. Uh, I quite like that one. So it's press Q. Oh my god, that's so cool. Oh, it's like flipping. Um, it reminds me a bit of um, like uh, you know, in um, it's not like it, but it reminds me. Um, in Batman's uh, sort of detective mode. <clears throat> and he just turns on and he's like, I can go warm. Or no, like the like in um, Morbius. Oh god, I'm about to get damaged. Am I getting damaged? No, I'm not. Oh, don't fall off a cliff. Don't fall off a cliff. Prophet, come on. Come on. Look where you're going. Look where you're stepping. There we go. And I just fell off a cliff. God damn it. Uh, let's grab some food. No, nope, can't grab some food. Hopefully we don't get eaten by crocodiles at the moment. Ooh, that is so pretty. Oh, wow. <gasps> you know what? I think I might have just found my new, ba oh, new base location. Oh, look at all this clay. <gasps> I can literally build across here and have all of this area mine. I could literally do it. We could literally do it. We could literally do it. Do I have foundation on me? Can I build a foundation right now? No, I can't. Damn it. Okay. Let me mark where I am. Oh, yeah. We, we just need to go to over here and then go straight up. Actually, we can go straight up and then over there. Uh... This is a possible one, so what we're going to do is go on to you and go on to you. That is possible. That is a possibility. Wrong button. So, we need to go straight up still. So, this is where we're going. This is damn well beautiful. I could literally span the top there as well and create, like, a building. So, I could literally create a building all the way down there and create, like, a rope ladder going down into like the the pool or a ladder coming down and have like a tree house on a rock oh that would be so cool and then like ha like build in between them two like a little bridge onto little islands and then build another bridge there and then have like that bit as our own personal pool oh i got so much here so many ideas oh so many ideas i'm gonna forget about them all in about 10 minutes but this is beautiful i'm not gonna lie Oh, your turkeys. Let me actually have a look at game settings and see uh, if I can turn on everything. Visual effects high, textures high, viewing distance high, resolution, exposure to maybe fifth, maybe sixty percent. Let's see how that looks. Apply back. Oh yeah, that looks actually a tiny bit better. There we go. Yeah, I'm still gonna write. This is still so beautiful, man. I'm not gonna lie. I like all the little fireflies. Can we capture them? Can we capture you? Mm. Mm. I think we can because you've got like a little bug. Um, a bug thingy. Bug thingy, excuse me. Like a bug net. I thought it was a snake then. I was about to go, I just snakes, it's beautiful. I love it. So, we are literally heading straight to. Who are one and who are you? Okay, give me one second. Ah, oh, it's a dog. Oh, that's all right. It's just a dog. Just a couple of doggies. Just a couple of doggies. So, where are we heading? Are we still heading the right way? Yeah. Got the cliff to our face. Uh, cliff to our left. We'll keep running up. No, you're not exactly important. 
So we're gonna run all the way over here. So I'll hopefully when we get there catch you guys in a bit. So here they are. Welcome back everyone. So I was going in the wrong direction. As I said, this is the barbarian barracks. Uh yeah. I just realized that this is where we're supposed to be going to, the barbarian camp. Uh which is the Western Rainforest Scout. And as it says on the barbarian navigation, press M to view the regional scout shown on the map. Uh, without me, I do need glasses for for looking at things on screens, but for some reason I didn't look literally right there where I was looking over there. So this is where we need to go. This is who we need to deter. So we're going to kill two and sacrifice one. So when we press Q, because obviously I repaired that node for life preservation, and it can actually tell us the levels at each. So... We have got the Barbarian Scout, which is level 20. The Barbarian, who is level 11, and then the Bush Dog. So who we need to deter is the Barbarian Scout, I believe. So that's who we need to... So we need to figure out how we're going to do this. Because they can hear us. I need to hold you. Press 2. Unlock you. Press 2. Kill the bush dog. Damn. Oh my god, he's nearly killed me. Number 9. He's right there. Come on. Let's do bandage. I was clicking the wrong button. As you can see, the bandage does wonders. I would suggest crafting some bandages. In all retrospect. Craft bandages. Whoa, who do you... Ooh. <gasps> Peace Corps gauntlets. Nice. And you've got more simple bandages. I'm going to take all of you. And then I'm going to... Get some more fresh meat from you. Let's slowly heal we've got the big hammer so I want to actually try, kind of try that so it's a double hand gone it's made of beast hide so weapon damage shown fucking hell and what do we have 20 to 27.5 holy mackerel uh, where is the hammer, there it is. 30. Right, let's. We can't really do anything with you. So we're going to try the hammer. See so what happens with this bloke. Oh my god, oh my. Oonga boonga. <laughs> wow! I don't want to kill the dude straight off the bat. He's literally right there as well. Uh, we need to. Get him down to 30% and then press E on him. We're still healing, so let's bandage up quickly. That should bump us up quite well. Uh, let's crouch. He's literally facing inwards, thinking, oh, yes, I'm so smart. Actually, he's right there. I wonder what will happen if we just unga bunga him. Mm, yeah! Oh, wow. Okay, this is not exactly happening quick enough as I expected it. So. Oh my god. This is 91 damage. Craft, craft, craft. Nope, missed. Whoa. Yes. 
we were gonna probably end up okay so now we've got him but are you gonna die no you're still after me so why are you here okay what exactly is gonna okay so we've done you so what does that do do not start healing wait what exactly do you do okay you're not exactly gonna do anything right so, I didn't realise what exactly that did. Because for some reason, it weren't working. Flint tribe basic combat con costume. Hmm. Uh, take everything. Let's check. So, beast bone ring. We need resin and beast bone. Gear crafted by tribal master. We need leather to repair you. Uncraft to get level, but can't we? Right, we should be able to wear you. It's classification armor. He's nearly done. Materials needed for repair. Okay, so I think that's it. So we need. So we got. You and you. Damn. That's, that's that's a lot of damage that we just get. So let's see what is in chest number three. Food. Oh, an herbicide used to remove weeds from farmlands. Ash fertilizer. Oh, nice. So we got all that. Okay. Right. So that was that. Now we've unlocked more of the area. That is actually quite clever, actually. So we used deter. So we originally here and here and here were the areas that we we could see was scouted. So that's what the scout does. When we deter the scout, we unlock the rest of the area. That is clever. Grant deterrence ability when paired. When the target is weak enough, user can deter them and synchronize. Hi. Are you serious? No. What the hell, man? They just spawn in. <laughs> I was reading. Thank you very much. Um, duh, 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 duh. So that was actually to tear. Not too bad, Dad. Not too shabby at all. So we've done you. So we, okay, the Flint tribe. Ah, uh, it is intelligence gathering. This is, so this is our first base all the way over here. Where our base is there, that little cove. I want to build here, all the way to the basically halfway up. Here would be really nice, but this little bit would be absolutely beautiful. It's within shouting distance of three, four. In a sort of diamond shape, ancient ruins, tribes, other stuff like other little outposts. Um, so I would actually really do like to build there and see where we go from there. So that would actually be quite nice. So I'm going to head back there and I'll see you guys in a bit. Well, that happened. Just, yep. <laughs> nah, that happened <laughs> oh my god so we died all over there we need to go collect all of our stuff oh no just the panther was just there I was thinking oh what was this what is this beautiful thing oh. and no it jumped on me and I died instantly God flam it. So I'll see you guys in a minute. <laughs> While I go collect all of my stuff. Again. Oh my god, this this fish. Dude, calm down. Dude, 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 dude. He is not happy that I ended up treading on his waters. Run, 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 run. Oh my god. 
I really hope I don't run into that panther again. Oh my god. Oh, yay, great. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, dudes. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yes, 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 yes. Oh my god, there's a badger or something. Oh no, it's a monkey. Hello, monkey. Yeah, you're right there, Nadia. Yeah, great, thank you. Okay, there's nothing in the vicinity. And I got insufficient mass energy. Hi! Oh my god, he's back. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Leave me alone! Please, let me transfer everything. He's right there. I've lost it all again. God damn it. <laughs> oh. oh no. Oh no. Okay. I will see you guys in a minute again. Oh no. Okay. So we're nearly there. I have no idea where this black panther is. I hope he's nowhere near where I just died. Because this would be painful. I can't see him. Oh, look at that beauty. Right, let's quickly heal up. Let's have some food. Let's have a drink. Let's heal up some more. Go back <coughs> onto walking. And yeah. So there was three dogs. Dog. Dr dog. Drugs. There was three dogs that were chasing me. I am back to finish not running away. So where the hell have you gone? Come. Bring it. I had to stand here on this rock. There you are. This is where they are. Come here. Don't run away. Hey. So there, there were the guys that were left. Give me all your hide and your bones. Don't mind me. Chop chopping alone. <clears throat> so and as well I put a contingency. I have actually got a campfire. Where we are well where I'm next gonna build. Don't go in this pond. Right here, don't go in this pond. There's a piranha and he's very angry whoever steps in his pond. He is a very angry fishy. Right, so right here is a is a ruin. Right here. I did uncover it on our way to where I died. In between that ancient ruin and the barbarian outcast. I don't think we did the that ancient ruin yet, but we will do this ancient ruin. Because all it is is guarded by beasts. I feel pretty good about myself. I'm going to have some food. Have a dinky water. And we're just going to head over and start slaying. Right, I think that's it. Wish I could see. Uh, give me one second, I will be able to see. Two. I think that's all the dogs. Yeah. Nice. And there's a chest. Wonder what we'll get out of here. Obviously, um, oh, sharp horn. Uh, yeah. So we are nearly there. So one things I would like to do for the new base is try and figure out how or where will I put everything. Like we'll have our little home, and then we'll have a a workshop. <clears throat> all right, a workshop building, a farming, and we'll all go from there. I wonder if this tree can get chopped down. So, 
Well, it's not here. It's just over the river. Excuse me. So it's right here. So I don't know if this tree can get... Well, that tree can get chopped down. I know that's clay, so what we'll need to build is storage boxes and everything else. So I'll literally probably just build like five to ten storage boxes all along this piece of... Oh, on this on this rock. And then I will probably build up here. Stretching out a little bit. And then build staircase, probably a winding staircase, like going down, down, down. So a staircase going from that rock or... Just see how it looks. Uh, I would like to actually expand upon it all. So the whole piece is uh, the whole actual rock face. I'll build into it. I think that would be pretty cool. Um, so we've got the river all to our left. And then it goes into like sort of pond-ish. Well, it's a massive pond area. If I look on the map. So this is a massive pond. That would be pretty cool to build there. But I would like to build upon this. Where we are literally right now. So maybe if I build upon that bit. Have maybe that this bit as my home. Because obviously there will be one way in one way out. And then stretch down. To about halfway. To where that big tree is. And then just build upon here. Maybe have a little bridge between them two. Have like a little bungalow or gazebo over there where that rock is. I think that would look really, really cute. I think that would look really, really, really nice. But the one thing is, I will never forget that bloody panther. That panther is going to be mine. I am going to have its head in my house. And it is going to be a rug on my carpet. Yes. So, I will see you guys once I've got everything sort of laid out ish. Over to you. Headshot. Headshot. Come on. No. Number two. Why are we being all silly for? Right. There we go. Oh god, I should really wait for my stamina to come back. E? Can we do E on you? Or do we wait? Nope, we do nothing. Absolutely nothing. So we take him back. Go for you. Tame simple bandages, that's very good, very nice. I think simple bandages is a lot better than normal bandage. Uh, the armor has now broken. What is in this beautiful chest? Let us see. Oh, quite a few goodies. So we're slowly gaining more wooden arrows. Uh, no, more stone arrows. We've got a simple bandage still. So that is actually fantastic. We've got quite a bit. Unfortunately, it broke. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. What can we have here? What can we repair you? Insufficient materials, we need stone and flint. Max HP, attack, what are you? Oh yeah, this is a lot better. Don't mind me guys, just hammering away. Hammering away. Yeah, so... As I'll quickly just do this there. Add that one over there, then add that one and that... Oh, oh, that one and that one. Then add you... And you, and you, and you, and you, and you, uh, you, and you, and, oh, okay, so we need to go underneath, do we? Oh, for some reason we can't build there, let's have a look, why can't we build there? It's going underneath. Something's blocking it. We build further this way. Right, I can't really see there, so I'll build you, you, and there. So, as I said at the beginning, 
Uh, we have got these collection of boxes, which have just got randomly everything. And that was our old base. And this is what's happening now. Yeah. So it's not finished yet. But this is what is going to be. So we've got a nice little stairwell. Excuse the rocks. Can't get rid of them. But it is what it is. Haven't built the doors yet. But we do have a bed. And it's facing the wrong way. God damn it. But yeah. Uh, excuse that hole. I don't know how to get rid of that at the moment. But I will figure it out. Um, so this is our little humble abode. As you can see. Got stairs going down. Going down, we'll have more stairs going down in a second. Uh, one stairs, that's alright. I just need the one anyway. Uh, put you there. So it was a bit finicky at first. As you can see, the way the snapping point is very weird. There we go. So, this is how we get up here. So it's each level is going to be different. I'm not sure how it's going to be at the moment, but each level is going to be different. Um, we're probably going to have this bit where it reaches down to the bottom. So I don't know exactly how it's going to be, but i got to admit, we have done good. We have done very, very good. How are we doing, guys? Uh, so... This is where I figured it out. So we got the carpenter's bench, we got the kiln, and guess what we got here? We got a bonfire. I should have learned to read properly. So obviously this is our bonfire. Instead of a campfire. I thought that's what it meant. With campfire to bonfire. Um I didn't really realise until it was too late. Um, so, and as well as you can see is I've extended it a little bit more outwards, uh, having three by, three by threes was a bit, was a bit much. Uh, I am going to fence around it. Uh, I have figured out what was the problem with this collision here. Obviously it was a stone underneath and it'll be the same if I want to extend it one more outwards out here. Which I think would be nice to extend it one outwards each side. So I've extended one out there. We're probably going to extend one out here. Uh, so it'll be a bit finicky. I do want to see if we can board this up. So that so you don't see the sort of foundations. Um, that would be actually quite nice if you can do it. Um, I might just build another foundation so it links into there as well as that one so it's like cleanly flush. I am going to build out onto that piece of rock instead of having a lip and probably have like a rope coming down uh, straight into um, probably over there. Um, create like chairs and everything else. I'm going to fence pretty much all around the sort of lag lagoon sort of area. Uh, I have got the farmland out. Uh, I have crafted that. I'm just trying to figure out where the best place to put it. So that will probably be more on the next episode. So, if you like what you see, guys, give a like, subscribe, comment on your favorite bit. Um, let me know if you guys want another episode. I'm really, really enjoying Soul Mask. I cannot wait for it to come out. Uh, as I said, demo is only about 40 hours long or until you get to about level 30 in-game. Uh, we're at a level 16, so we're about halfway through. I've done quite a few episodes, quite a lot of off-screen time. But I just can't get enough of this game. This game is so... I don't I, I don't understand why it's just... I just can't get enough of it. But yeah, if you want, if you want to see more, let me know in the comments. Let me know uh, <clears throat> your favourite bits about this episode. It would be real big help out. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. All right.